Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Now I wanted to do a very quick review on the Iceco VL45 fridge. Now I picked this up about seven months or so ago during a Black Friday sale that I really just couldn't pass up. Um, I had been eyeballing Iceco just because they make some really affordable fridges that to me looked like they had a high construction quality and came with some decent parts. These are supposed to come with a Dan Foss compressor that has a 10 year warranty on them. Apparently these are some of the best compressors you can get. Uh, I haven't done a bunch of research, but that is what they say. So I picked it up for around $425, which really just wasn't a deal that I could pass up. Um, I had been looking at other fridges such as Dometic and ARB, and I really couldn't stomach spending eight, nine hundred plus dollars on a 45 quart fridge when there are options like this available out there. So I decided to take a gamble on uh, a more budget con conscious fridge. Now, so far, happy to report that uh, this fridge has been working awesome. Um, it's been super useful, not only in the truck, but also in the wife's Mazda. So we have taken it out of my truck and put it in the back of her CX-5, which has a cigarette uh, plug in the back and used it to you know, go on some trips to some hot springs or go up through Washington and stuff. So super versatile in that regard. It's nice being able to use it in both vehicles. It's not super bulky, which is another reason why I like this 45 quart size. Um, and it's, it's ultra portable. So it's been uh, really awesome to have. Uh, I kind of figured that I would just be using it in the Tacoma, but being able to use it in the Mazda as well is basically just an added bonus. So let's talk about some of the, I guess, features of this fridge. Now, it's got a really nice construction quality to it. It's steel um, construction with a really nice kind of matte powder coated finish on it. Looks like it'll hold up pretty well to abuse. I have definitely uh, put some dings in it and some scratches and stuff, but it still looks really good. It's got really sturdy corner protection on it as well, just in case anything bumps into it or you're moving it around, uh, both on the top and the bottom. Now it's got these really, really sturdy steel handles that have uh, a spring-loaded mechanism in them so they're not just flapping around. They stay down and secure. They're the perfect mounting location for the um, slide straps to hold it into place nice and secure. It's also got really sturdy hinges as well. The lid doesn't move around or anything like that, so I'm expecting those to hold up quite well. The latches that hold it closed are nice metal latches. They have a nice kind of satisfying click to them, so you know that it's closed. You don't have to worry about this fridge popping open or anything like that down some bumpy tracks. Um, the latches work pretty, pretty great. So it's got a pretty simple control panel on it, which I actually like. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. Now you spend you know, more money on another brands out there, you're gonna get you know, more bells and whistles, whether that's an app um, or kind of like uh, remote monitoring, things like that. I didn't really care about any of those features. It's nice to have a really simplistic um, display probably less to go wrong, less to have issues with. Um, this fridge can also freeze as well. I haven't actually tried that, uh, but it is uh, a capability of this fridge. It's got uh, battery monitoring, so you can set it to three different levels, which are basically three different cutoff voltages. Once it hits the voltage at that level, it'll turn the fridge off and then it won't turn it back on until it sees above a certain voltage. Now this is really nice if you're trying to protect, um, say a single battery like I am, or maybe just uh, uh, you know your second deep cycle to prevent it from drawing the battery too low. I always keep mine on the high setting because I am running a single battery setup, so I want it to turn off at the earliest uh, to preserve as much of the main battery in the Tacoma. It's got two compressor speeds. I always leave mine on minimum. Uh, I haven't encountered a need to turn it on maximum, but you maybe would need that if you're going to be using it to freeze things. Now, another cool feature is this is a dual input fridge, so it can do 12 volts out of like the back of the truck or the back of the Mazda, but it can also do 120 volts out of a wall socket, which 
kind of adds some added versatility to this fridge. You could, you know, say use it uh, if you are going to like an Airbnb or something like that that maybe doesn't have a fridge. You could bring it inside and use it to keep all your stuff cool or, you know, kind of use it as like a backup overflow fridge during the holidays or something like that if you have a lot of food in the house and there's not enough room in the fridge. So it is nice having that option. Now another cool thing that I like about this fridge is that it's got removable baskets, uh, you know, a smaller one and a bigger one. This is super helpful for loading up the fridge as you're getting ready to go out because you can just bring them inside the house, you know, fit them, stack them how you want them, get all your stuff in them and ready. And then you can just carry those baskets out to the vehicle and stick them in the fridge. Super simple, no trying to shuffle things around inside of the fridge as you're loading up the truck. Uh, this is also great when you get to where you're going because then you can just take them out and bring them inside the house or same with when you get back to the house. It makes kind of cleaning things up super easy. It's got a pretty awesome um, light inside of it as well that is plenty bright and works great. Definitely maybe a feature some might overlook, but it's super handy to have, uh, you know, when you're getting in and out of your fridge at night not having to use a headlamp or anything like that. So now to talk about the negatives of this fridge. And honestly, I haven't encountered anything. Um, I, like I said, I've only had it for about seven months now, so I haven't put it through a ton of use, but it's worked flawlessly. There, there isn't anything about this fridge that I don't like. It just does what it does. It's a pretty simple um, tool, no frills needed, uh, you know, no issues with Bluetooth apps or anything like that because it doesn't have it. The only thing that I would say that's kind of a con is the interior insulation. Um, there seems where the edges meet uh, on the bottoms and so you're just going to want to take some silicone at the beginning when you get the fridge and silicone those cracks in and that just helps if you were to spill something in the fridge it's not going to seep down into the insulation or the inner parts of the fridge so i just did that right out of the gate and uh, we should be all good there so now why I settled on the 45 quart version is because it had to fit in this very specific spot in the vehicle. Um, anything bigger would have forced me to put it somewhere else. Uh, and if I wanted to use a slide, I would have had to space it more into the middle of the truck to clear the wheel well. So that's why I went with the 45 quart. This is actually a lot of space. Um, I was kind of concerned when I was picking out fridges that 45 might not be enough, but when you take out ice when you take ice out of the equation it frees up so much more space so you can really pack quite a bit of food in here uh, i we'd have no problem fitting enough food and beverages probably for three four days maybe even longer just kind of depends on what you're bringing and another thing about a fridge is you're not you don't have to put all of your beverages in there from the get-go you can always keep some outside of the fridge and put them in along your trip or you know stop at stores and grab things along the way but the 45 quart is going to be plenty for most people uh, they do make bigger versions if you want say a dual zone to have a freezing section which would be awesome if you're doing a lot you know more longer term things or like kind of van lifestyle where you're going to want that freezing capability so that's about it that is the iceco vl45 fridge uh it's been awesome having this i didn't really know how much i was actually gonna like it when i got it i thought it would be definitely you know cool to have i was stoked about not using ice anymore but it's also just been so much better than I could have thought of. Um, having a 12 volt fridge in your vehicle just opens up a lot of cool possibilities that you know I didn't have before, such as like going out for dirt bike rides and having things nice and cool uh, without having to worry about going to get ice. It always seemed like you know, whenever I'd go somewhere, whenever you go camping, like ice was always an afterthought and like having to remember to get it when you're leaving the store, it was just like a pain. And then uh, having to keep things from not getting soggy in the water and stuff, uh, just having a fridge is such a massive step up. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys are on the fence looking at Iceco or other brands out there, I definitely encourage you to look at them. And this wasn't sponsored or paid for by Iceco or anything like that. I bought this with my own money. And um, this is just kind of a review that I wanted to do because there's not a whole lot out there on this brand in these fridges. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I will catch you guys in the next video.